All right, you guys can hear me. Yeah, I'd say look, we know we know how this league is, and and, and um, not every game is going to be pretty. And uh, but what what I love is that we just we found a way to grind that one out. Uh, we you know first half it was you know kind of survival mode. It felt like a little bit just let's keep sticking around until we get our legs. We couldn't make any open shots. We were missing layups. We weren't attacking, which is uh unfortunately how it normally comes on the the first game back from a long east coast road trip but uh, our guys found a way we even had a lead at half um so uh not not the prettiest of wins but god what a what a gutsy performance by our guys 11 turnovers which is what you know one of the things we've been harping on um really i, I just you know you know, to find a way to win that against a good team. And I know they're on a back to back as well, but uh, you know that was a that was a good grinded out win. Uh, was Sean Cunningham? Yeah, Luke, you, you mentioned that survival mode. I was gonna ask you about the fight you guys showed and if if you could have even imagined seeing that fight just a few weeks ago. Yeah, you know, I, I think our team is look, I think our team has shown fight all year. Uh, even some of those games we got blown out, we just uh you know, the fight was there. We'd get leads and we couldn't ever stop anybody. And, and when you can't ever stop anyone, when you go through a tough time scoring the ball, you know, it just kind of sucks the energy out of you. So uh, I, I think our teams had fight all year. They're, they're ready to go to start every game. Uh, and, you know, we went through a really tough stretch, obviously, where games were just kept getting away from us. Um but now that we're, you know, we're, we're figuring some things out as a group and we're continuing to fight, continuing to play hard, we're giving ourselves chances to win. And, um, you know, we, we, we did that again tonight. And again, these games can go either way. I mean, most nights I'm Tatum's probably not going to go two for 10 from three, but most night either is Harrison. So you try to give yourself a chance uh, to win and you try to learn and get better while you're doing that. And, you know, I feel like we're, you know, that's where our group is at right now. James Hey, Luke, you guys were down 10 there in the third quarter and Halliburton hit back-to-back -back threes and then just came up really big. It had a, a scoring, his, his highest scoring night of his career so far. Just, again, how impressive is he almost every single night for you guys, whether it's scoring or doing something else to help you guys win? Yeah, I look, he, he finds, he finds he, you're, you're absolutely right, James. He's one of those players that kind of just feels what the team needs, whether it's playmaking, whether it's a big steal, uh, you know, a three-point shot. They had kind of stalled us out with that zone. And, you know, we were, we were getting open shots. We weren't making them. And, and then we start stopped trusting. Uh, you know, it felt like we stopped trusting the the, the pass and the, and the rhythm. Uh, and then he stepped up and knocked a couple down, and then that kind of rebooted us again. So, yeah, he, he, he's got that um, ability, which is very impressive for a young player to kind of feel what the game, what our team needs in a game and then provide that. Marshall Luke, uh, just <clears throat> when you look at what happened in the, in the fourth quarter there, uh, De'Aaron Fox kind of went into that takeover mode that uh, you were talking about the other day. You, you always want to see him in takeover mode. Uh, do, do you feel like he was making adjustments to what they were doing early in the game, or was he just trying to get everyone involved to, to see the progression from quarter to quarter and what he was able to do in the fourth? Yeah, you know, I, I thought he managed the game pretty well tonight. Uh, I think he's doing a much better job of, of, of taking that responsibility on. Again, he had 11 assists tonight, and um, – you know, with how he plays and the amount of minutes that I'm playing him right now, he, he's not going to he's not going to be able to be in score mode all the time. You know, so he's got to kind of go about it doing, you know, at different times. Um, but, yeah, I think, he, you know, he's a very intelligent player. I think he gets a feel for how teams are guarding him, what they're doing. Um, and and uh, he was, you know, he was huge in that fourth quarter again. I mean, he, he was I mean, he every time we needed a big time bucket. Uh, you know, he, he created something for us. Um, he was leading in huddles. He was talking about defense. He was talking about stops, you know, rebounding the basketball, all those things. Um, so, yeah, another another great night uh, by De'Aaron. Yeah, Luke, and when they took that lead in the third quarter, it seemed like, at least from my perspective, your defense got a lot more active. And you started to uh, get in transition with some deflections, some, uh, some some forced turnovers. Is that the kind of progression you're you've been looking to see 
from them, from the team on those on those periods where the offense is struggling to try to create offense through the defense? Yeah, uh, absolutely. We want to be a disruptive defensive team. You know, Rex, uh, who does a, a, a great job uh, with, with the defensive stuff and, and his communication with the players. You know, one of one of the themes we talked about coming into this season was disruption, disruption, disruption. And there's different ways to do that. Um, but that's ideally, ideally where we want to get to. You know, we feel like we have guys like De'Aaron and Tyrese who are really good anticipators and uh, – and long and can get deflections. Um, you know, we have a long way to go with that, but absolutely, Jason, that that's what, what you're talking about and describing is what we ideally see uh, our defensive uh, identity being, uh, you know, down the road. Hi, Luke, another nice win for you. Congratulations. Um, you uh, you guys had a, last year, mid-season, late December, January, uh, you started to turn things around that the execution got better, the defense got better. Do you see any similarities right now in the way things are starting to click? Uh, yeah, well, I, I, I see the progress happening again. Um, uh, you know, I, I think the, the two times you're comparing, I think by the end of last season, we were further along uh, than we're at right now, just from a um, – a consistency level of what we were trying to do every single night. We're definitely getting there. Um, but right now we're, 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 we're just, we're really competing hard. We're, we're, uh, we're trusting each other uh, and finding different ways to, to win, which is a, a, a big step. Um, and it's great for our group. Um, you know, they believe in themselves and they believe in what we're doing. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's good to see. Or the last one that George. Hey, Luke, kind of building off of Jason and James's questions, there were a, a couple periods in this game where um, your team fell down or fell behind by around 10 points. You called timeouts and were able to respond with runs of your own. How pleased are you with that improvement really over the course of this entire season to answer those runs? And what was the message during those timeouts? Yeah. Um, The, the message is, well, it, it changes from time out, but it, look, it, it, that's, that's where the, a big part of our progress has happened. You know, those 10 point leads in the, in, earlier in the season were turning into, you know, 20 point, I'm sorry, the 10 point deficits were turning into 20 point deficits and we were trying to get it all back as individuals. Um, now what we're seeing is when we do take, you know, we, when we do fall behind uh, our, our, our group, keeps their composure uh you know they keep doing what we're we're trying to get accomplished and, and uh and then what they did a nice job of tonight is they stepped up defensively and put together a couple stops in a row that allowed us to get back into into the game